Good evening and welcome to a brand new playthrough of Timberborn. We are here in update 6 on the experimental version and we're going to be playing a non-modded game, which is a bit weird. Update 6 actually brings mods to the game. It brings it to the base game. You can load the mods into here, you can browse them on the Steam Workshop. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because I've had issues in the past of modding the experimental version of the game. I know it's built in, I know it's... So it's, I'm, I'm just I'm playing it safe, basically. I want to do a base playthrough. I want to see what the game is like in update six with all the new updates, because there are new one things. We have wonders. Uh, we have three dimensional water physics. As you can see from this little picture here, you can build proper aqueducts now. Water is not just a flat sheet that springs up wherever it has before. It is now individual blocks of water that works away. Um, there are sluices and overhangs, which can be automatically controlled from uh, depth cages so I have an idea I have an idea I have a, I have a cunning plan we will see how it works um, so we're going to get to go I will play a modded playthrough I will do things there um, I promised uh, uh, Zuiji a viewer from um, I promised a long long time ago uh, that I would play through um, Zuiji has a greedy builders mod um, and uh, I will do a playthrough with those I absolutely want to I'm just going to wait for update 6 to become official that makes sense um i know the mods will work and i know they're supported and i just i just i just don't want to so we are going to play a new game we're going to play with the iron teeth we played with folktales last time um and we're going to play on hard and we're going to play on the waterfalls map because i have a plan for the map and i will tell you the plan for the map straight up we're going to play on hard Boom. um uh, obviously makes it more difficult to play through than that so but let's start and then i will explain the plan Okay, so the first thing we'll do is update six name our settlement. There we go. And pause the game here. And so I'm going to start off the way I normally start off at any game. And that is uh, go shift, alt, and z to bring up the development console down here. And turn off the sky fog because I think the game looks better without it. So yeah. I'm just going to enable kit free camera mode just so we can have a better look around. Free camera lets you zoom out more and uh, go under the map and go over and go upside down and then you can travel along going upside down which is a little weird so you don't normally play like this but yeah um so let's let's start off actually building some things and then i will explain the plan so first of all i just want to get a pump in i suppose uh, let's flip that around put that there uh, let's put a road oh, straight down to that let's put a road across there across there and let's see now put a lumberjack flag in because i want to get all of the trees so let's put a lumberjack flag in there another one in there that way this one catches that tree there so cool uh let's bump and bump there we go. capture capture um cut all the trees there they go so they'll cut all the trees there awesome we want a gathering flag um i'm gonna move the path into here because i think what i want to do is i want to put a gathering flag maybe even up the top i want it somewhere it can like harvest all the berries so there seems like a good place you can get down here and up here to harvest all our berries cool 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 um what else do we want? What else do we want? We probably want to get a farm going early. Ah, what I should do really is I should get um let's put in road along here. We also want to dam off the water. It's always something you want to do quite quickly. So we were to build to here and I put in a sort of we've got the new overhangs here, these are all new the, the lace up base, they um uh, there are new metal platforms which are only one high awesome well uh i saved one high they look like they're half high actually um i know they are one high i wonder why this one looks like it's lower oh it's just further away yeah so they're one high very large solid metal platforms overhangs as well um these uh don't let water throw through them they the water flows over them so you can make diving boards and stuff looks like fun uh let's do some water storage now we are playing on hard mode so we'll start with three, and I'll set them as water. Holding tab to bring up the uh, little over over the top menu. We can do that there. Um, oh, and also we're going to need a industrial pile for locks. Let's put that there. Oops. 
and I would like to get food going early. Now, I know the Iron Teeth are not so good when it comes to food. Um, they're not so good at harvesting it compared to um, the, uh, the... the um, I was about to call them Iron Tails. That's because of a comment that was on the previous episode. Um, uh, on a previous episode. Um, they're not so good at harvesting as the Folk Tails are. That's the word I'm trying to find out. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seems like a good number. But ten. Let's run a pathway around the edge of that. And let's put in two farmhouses. Uh, one there and one there. I also would like storage for kohlrabis like pretty early. Because um, I know... Yeah, I know that's going to be struggling. So let's increase the construction site there and do that. Um, and I think that's good to go. That's good to go. So I want the f the, um, the farms to be high workplace. I want this to be the highest workplace and the highest construction site. So be always come work here. <clears throat> they will grab that there. That'll be fine. I would like to get these done as well quickly if possible. We don't need the storage for that. So, okay. So go, 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 beavers. Do your thing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me explain the plan. The plan. The plan is we're going to industrialize the world. This is our world. So we're going to plan it and make it as efficient as possible. I don't know what the end like goal is. Um, I'm tempted to say a thousand beavers, but I don't know if you can do a thousand beavers on a map this size. Um, we'll see on that one. But what I want to do is to flatten the entire world down to the same height as our district. So we'll end up flatten we'll fill this in here we will blow this up down here we'll flatten this all down here we'll do something the exceptions will be where there is the sources we'll have to leave a little bit around those um to uh to stay that height and where it's the bad water sources we'll have to leave a little bit around those as well and where the underground ruins are we will um have to leave those down there although we could use the editor to move those and move the bad water sources and stuff we've done that before so I'm not opposed to doing that if you want to make the world 100% flat, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. When we've made it flat and we have the water just in here, um, the idea is going to be we will build an aqueduct, several aqueducts, many aqueducts. I might actually leave them up high on purpose. Um, uh, we're going to build an aqueduct from here, from our water sources, in a straight line, all the way across the map and off the edge. And then off of that, we're going to have offshoots coming off every 30 tiles, I think it is, because it's just there, um, with the water pouring down into, so imagine they'll be they'll be that high, so they'll be up here, and they'll be pouring down into the uh, pools on the floor, which will keep the entire world green. Not everywhere needs to be green, because it's obviously industry and stuff like that as well. That's fine. We will have industry probably over here underneath the aqueduct, because that might not be where we have the green, but a lot's going to be farmland, especially if we're going to go for a 1,000 beavers. Lots going to be farmland. Bots I'm not so sure about. I might do bots and just make them farmers because then they can do more, but I'm not really sure either way on that one yet. Um, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out as we go. So, so that's the plan. So we'll have it going there. We'll have the aqueducts go off onto little aisles along, which will drop down at points to go into a pool. Three by three, five by five, I'm not sure what size the pool is going to be, but it will fill the pool and then that will keep the ground entirely green everywhere we go. Maybe we might leave these up high and do the same here, do like an aqueduct going all the way across to this side of the map and just have, you know, maybe the aqueduct will go all the way across this side of the map to connect to this one and pour off the edge of the map that way. That might be an idea, so our two aqueducts will come along and connect over here, pour off the map, we can tap into the water. Might be an idea. I don't know if the Bad water is at the same height as the normal one. I think it is. Probably is actually. So, we might do that. We might do that. But that's the idea. Because we also have new things. We have the sluice, um, unidirectional automated water discharger. Now, if I read this correctly, and please do correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I believe they can be connected to a stream gauge and can be opened and closed depending on the height of the water. But the idea would be the pool would be below the aqueduct with a sluice on it uh, with a, a a water gauge in the stream gauge inside there and then the stream gauge would reply would tell the sluice to open or close depending on what level of water is at 
I think that would work. We might build the like the aqueduct might be deep. It might be like a reservoir along one side with an aqueduct that runs along. Um, maybe pumping. We, I might make it like an a, a, a reservoir on one end and then pumping. Maybe not. I'm not sure. There. I might just do large poles that might be long enough to run. We are playing hard mode, which means we've got 30 days of droughts maximum. So we're gonna have to figure that one out, and also figure out if there's a way to automatically not do anything when the bad tide's flowing. If, if bad tide's on, we don't want water going along. So yeah, aqueducts might not be one shallow. They might be three deep so they're like a reservoir as well so so it comes off here becomes three deep all the way along it will float above everything so we can build below it and we're going to lower the ground down here as well then they come along that way and yeah i think that's probably going to be a good way of doing it i hope maybe possibly yeah we will we will see we will see whether it's good or bad or or ugly we'll, we'll figure it all out but yeah um the good news is we are getting in um Corabies already, which is awesome. That's awesome. We haven't had our first drought yet, um, so that's good. Uh, we haven't got any logs to build that. We haven't got any logs to build that. I'm not sure why we haven't got any logs. Oh, because they're building this here. So, so we're a bit slow, but that's okay. That's okay. We also want to come along here and build a dam along here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, would you remove that and let's put a road? Oh, not that one. Put a road in along here, and I might just. Mm, there. Do it there. Oh, we have a drop project. Just spoke, speak to the devil. Boom, there you go. All right. I'm gonna make this the lowest priority. So they don't they don't build this just yet. We can't get to it before the drought hits anyway. We won't be able to build that sort of thing anyway. Um but when we do, that will give us access to more berries, which we desperately do want. So that'd be cool. Uh let's do something like this as well. So yeah, what do you think of that plan? Within plan, it will be a very grid like city, a very grid like. So, we'll have the aqueduct come along here, they'll have space out there. The entire world will be kind of split into a grid. Most of this side, I feel, will be farming at, towards the end, um, with a bit of industry down the side here. So maybe like that will be industry. This will be farming, maybe this will be farming as well. So, most of the map will become farmland if we're going to go for a thousand beavers, which we could do. Um, however, we're not going to have any beavers if I don't put in a breeding pod. That would probably help as well. Um, let's get a breeding pod going here. Yeah, yeah. Put a breeding pod in there. That'd be fine. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Uh, you've got logs and you've got berries, but not many berries. Okay. Uh, I should have upped it to 18 hour days as well. The first cycle will let them. We'll, we'll, we'll lull them into a full sense of security, um, and we'll see how it goes. So. I'm going to lower the property on this building as well slightly because I want to make sure beavers go out and do things in the world. So, uh, yeah. Um, you're not moving because we don't have any logs. So that's understandable. Um, the logs are coming. We could. We don't have any unemployed beavers, but we could. This can't be done in time anyway. Um, this is also awesome. This is this is something like oh, this, this. This this was fantastic when I first saw this. Um, so so let me let me so go here. You see. They've got ropes around them with hammers on the back. And when they drop something down, they hammer. They hammer away at it. Look. Well done. You built it. A very, very sim style of uh, repairing or building something. Hits it with a hammer till it gets done. Um, but that is awesome. I really like that. Um, also, I saw... Yeah. I thought I saw that. Um, beavers. Farmers now have hats. Uh, they've also changed the camera so you can get much closer now. Before it used to be very difficult to get quite close, but farmers have hats now. That is cool. That's I like that. I like that. I, I like I like the uh, the little added thing. If if every, if every beaver got a an item that was like a thing, like a gatherer got like a little pouch or something, um, which would make sense, you know, a little rope with a pouch on it or something. Um, I don't know what, what log cars would get. I, I have no idea what. Um, I don't know what they should get. Uh, I can't think of anything for a log cutter. Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, I just I just like that. I just think that's awesome. That's that's. Awesome. And then maybe maybe haulers could get wheelbarrows. I've always wanted wheelbarrows for some bizarre reason. Haulers pushing wheelbarrows around just seems awesome to me. Just I just like the idea of it. That you know, that's what they do. They don't just carry extra things. They carry they do wheelbarrow because it says in the hauling post um, the carrying capacity is a hundred percent. 
So if they had like a little wheelbarrow they pushed around in front of them, that had goods in it. That makes sense, wouldn't it? That makes sense. <laughs> and then when they run around without the wheelbarrow being used, when they're not carrying things, the wheelbarrow is folded down on their back, like a foldable wheelbarrow. That'd be awesome. You dreaming? Oh well. Um, so, we have a drought coming along. Will we survive the first drought? Who knows? I'm going to change you two to be harvesting because we, if anything pops up now, we don't want it to be replanted. We've only got a day left. We will not be holding any water, uh, at least for this drought. Might get here for the second drought. It's unlikely. I don't know. Uh, but we have got a decent kohlrabi storage already, which is awesome. I don't have that great of a water storage, though. Um, uh hard mode no longer the, the beavers no longer drink and eat more than they did before i don't know if they did or not in hard mode i can't remember um, i'm sure easy mode was like easy mode they, they eat 50 percent less normal they eat 100 percent and and hard mode they eat 150 percent but looking at the way the game is now i don't think that's the case anymore in fact, I'm, I'm sure that's not the case anymore because if you picked it and then go to customize it says 100 percent food consumption con consumption the hard mode point is all to do with the tides. Uh, you get more droughts and they are much longer. They can be a maximum of 30 days. Um, so you, your maximum temperate days, I think are nine, I believe it's five to nine. And the, uh, the droughts can be, and the bad tides can be between 15 and 13 days. Now to start with, you get a handicap on them. So they don't, um, they're not as long for the first so many cycles they're not as long so you get like you get eased into it because if you've got a 30 day drought straight away you can't win that you, you're you're dead you're you're that's just not gonna work just not gonna happen so um yeah but yeah i think we're good here so we've got berries we've got stuff we've got beavers coming as well which is awesome so all our beavers have grown up do we have a vriska do we have a vriska we do not have a vriska okay okay that's 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 purely for those in the know why why we'll be looking for a risker but um we can make a risker we can make a risker later uh so yeah so i think this is all good um let's just go through this drought because i can't do anything until the drought's over and we will come back uh hopefully when the dam's complete as well because we're gonna need the dam maybe more pumps because we have 20 water left and three days and they consume three water a day that's not enough for our 12 beavers for one day let alone three so they're gonna have a little bit of thirstiness going on so yeah i'll do a great deal about that maybe we should invest in some more water pumps let's invest in some more water pumps shall we doop, doop. okay they'll get built before those because these are low priority okay so we'll invest in more water pumps and then we will uh come back when the drought is over Okay, the drought is almost over. Look, we have a brand new kit just been born. Woohoo, you have come into a hard life, I'm afraid, but don't worry, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, the water is returning. Here it comes, here it comes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we will start this here. We're nearly finished with the building of the dam as well, which is awesome. Um, so let's enable these three guys. Leave it in those, pump it away. Also, we're going to increase uh this to i'm gonna go with 20 hour days i don't i think 18 is the highest you can go but i'm gonna go with 20 hour days it's kind of a test um i think it's gonna mess up some some beavers so we might have to uh lower that again but um but we can we can in fact do you know what we can go with 24 hour days right now we can absolutely hammer it we really want to get this built Okay, uh, built. We want to get well. We want to get this built. We want to get water pumped. So we're going to go with 100% days right now. Let's see how we go. We are down to just the berries. Didn't get any berry storage. I should probably do that as well. Let's wait for this to get built and then we'll do it. Um, be beavers. When you do 100%, um, they, beavers don't die of um, exhaustion. They, they, they don't. They don't. They will work. Uh, basically, and work and work and work and work and work until their sleep basically gets to nothing, and then we'll just fall asleep. And then we'll cover their sleep and then they'll work again through that obviously when their sleep is when they're sleep deprived that means they're not happy so the overall happiness goes down so they work slower so you don't really want to be doing this so right now um let's see he's working here but he's actually got minus i don't know it's zero percent working speed bonus which means he's just working at exactly the same speed that the pump is working at which is fine which is fine it's a little bit slower but a little bit slower all night long is better than not anything all night long and see beavers just sleep they just fall asleep during the day and it's not a problem so 
We should be fine for that. We should be fine for this. This should be okay. Yeah, but he was just sleep whenever. And I'll wake up whenever. I've never done a 24 hour playthrough. Like leave the clock on 24 hours. I've never tried that. I, I think we're going to give it a try. I think we're going to give it a try. I think the clock is now going to remain. We've had one cycle at normal hours. Normal 16 hour days. Um, and now we're going to go with 24 hour days. And people are just going to sleep whenever they want to sleep. Stay alive and they want to stay alive. And so on and so forth. I do not know whether beavers will die when they're if they fall asleep with exhaustion and they need thirst and drink and what else that I don't know. Um, so like if I click this beaver here and if his sleep goes down low and his hunger is really down low, I don't know if he can die in his sleep. Risks of the game, I suppose. We'll give it a try, shall we? Let's just give it a try and find out. Let's give it a try and find out. Um, let's get a small warehouse going, and I'm going to put that over here for the moment. This is going to be for. At least we already have another drought coming, which is very annoying. I'm going to do that, which is probably overkill, um, but not because, yeah. Um, here. We don't have any automation installed for turning these off during droughts and things, so we can't do anything about that. Um, but I need to turn them off during, bad, during droughts and bad tides and things because I don't want to kill the farmland. We do have this over here, which I completely forgot about. I completely forgot about this over here. Uh, this will let us uh, have a bit of water stored in here. It's not a lot and it evaporates quickly, so it doesn't store a great deal. Um, but it does mean to get more farmland. So we could possibly extend this out, get more farmland in here, put our trees over here. I think that's a plan. I think the trees are a plan. Yeah, trees are a plan. Let's hope it's going there. Um, if we start getting droughts like this, like we're only going to get like two, three, four days four days and food is going to become a problem quickly but i'm kind of hoping we'll be okay for that because we've got this here holding the water back so i think i think we'll be okay what i'll do is i'm gonna normally i would leave the pumps running and let them run this all completely dry but i don't want to do that because of this here so we could dam this off along here as well and split the two so that wouldn't be a problem uh, also uh we can put another gathering flag in over here um, and have you collect the berries from both sides of these. So if we put if we put, if we put one over here and one over here, we get even more berries coming in. So we wouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, you are struggling because of water, which ah ah. So this is a problem. So um, uh, brought by haulers and the unemployed after work hours. There are no after work hours. There are no after work hours. So we have to find unemployed beavers. So if I unemploy some beavers. Um, and get them doing th this here. Um, I think we might have to, yeah, I'm going to stick with 24 hours. We're going to give it a try. We're going to give 24 hours, get, get, work them hard, work them beavers hard. Um, and we will we will see if we can do that. Um, you are both set to harvesting, which is fine. I want you to harvest because I'm not sure about this. Planting is more efficient because if you plant them, they're growing while you're harvesting the rest. I know the early days... Um, Although we now have the water here all the time. I think I'm just going to continue pumping the water for the time being. So. See how that goes. I'm not sure if 24 hour days is a good idea or not. I'm, I'm in an iron about it. We'll see. We'll see. Let me know what you think. Should we give it a try? Who knows? Who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Let me demolish that. Uh, no, cancel that. Don't do that yet, actually. The drought's just started, so we don't want to... We'll, we'll do that when more water comes along. So, on there. Okay. Okay, so we have... Um, Ah, there we go. There we go. They've now taken all the kohlrabi and dumped it in the in the storage rather than here, which is awesome. They're going. Oh, they got no animations. They got no animations. Look, let them go. Let them go. Diggy diggy dig. Diggy diggy dig. Ah, you, you. Diggy diggy dig. Hello. Yay. Awesome. I I don't know. I've I'm, I I I've read the patch notes and I did see there was new animations, but I didn't. I haven't seen them. This is the first time I'm playing through Update 6. I've not played it at all. So this is all new to me. And it's... I love it. I love it. Little hats. They've actually got digging animations, which is fantastic. Uh, I love the hammering animations for the... Uh, I, hope, I hope there's more. I hope there's more coming along. Um, I remember the custom animations when they first did this. This was awesome. This was fantastic. And the detail... How close I can get the detail. I know it's a bit blurry because obviously you're not supposed to play this close, but... Look at it. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Does the gatherer have anything different? Um, I don't remember how you... 
No, you've got the old animation for the moment. That's fine. That's fine. That makes sense. That is that is a decent gathering animation. So that makes sense. Sir. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to put in a um, book and book like that to harvest more berries, so we can get more berries going. Not that we're struggling for berries, but um, I'm not fussed about the berries over here. But these ones can be gathered. See, along with the trees, we also want to get some uh, a lumberjack going. We're going to need a lumberjack. And we're going to need to power it. Uh, oh, we don't have a beaver wheel, do we? No, the Iron Teeth no longer have a beaver wheel that the beaver stands in. They instead have the Wheel of Pain, um, which is a thing where four beavers can stand in that and run and walk around in circles. Um, very Conan, very Wheel of Pain. Um, and uh, produces 300 power. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, consumes four beavers consumes for beavers no it doesn't consume beavers it uses beavers to run it doesn't consume them it's not like a giant lemon squeezer thing but for beavers instead that would be terrifying um uh costs 100 wood not terrible i want to say not a terrible thing also vertical power shaft that we have an up shaft we have a down shaft and we have a vertical shaft awesome awesome we still have the giant power wheels as well which these are these are fantastic i just want these to be updated so that that block there where the connection point is is solid um, that makes them perfect but we're gonna put a compact wheel in uh, there and um, behind there so we won't do that we want to get some uh some uh wood going we also need to get some science going uh oh uh oh i always forgotten about the science that's going to be my priority um we're gonna unpause this are you good for yeah you're good unpause this it should be looking there um, would you come and build the science place? I just I forgot about it. I forgot about the science place. And the science place is important. Um, we need the science to get the uh, forester unlocked before we run out of trees. Because if you don't build a forest before you run out of trees, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. But I'm going to pause all of these because we don't need them working in there anymore. Okay. I could micromanage the farms as well after they planted. I could pause them until they come along again. I'm going to switch this back to plant now. I think we're probably... We're safe for the water. We've got four day, three days left for the drought. But I think we're going to be safe for the water. I think I think we're going to be okay. He says, he says, famous last words. I think we're going to be okay. And then everyone died. Um, no, I think we'll be okay. I really do think we'll be, we'll be fine. You're going to get more logs and then you're going to build these guys. And then once you build these guys, you'll build this, which will be cool. Why are you taking so long to drop down trees? Is it the distance you're having to travel? Yeah, it's the distance you're having to travel. That's fine. That's fine. We're okay. We are okay. Um, we've got berries gathered here, berries gathered here. Uh, I'm going to pause these guys. Um, not that I need to, but it just... Um, I might also... You know what I'm going to do? We're going to put in more lumberjacks. Uh, put one there. Put one there. And we'll chop down these trees a bit quicker. That's what we'll do. But I think we're good. I think we're good. I see some beavers. Like this is what I was concerned about. Um, your sleep is raising. Your food is up there. I'm, I'm, I'm worried that if a beavers, beavers can never get really hungry unless we've got food problems, and then there's problems anyway. But um, yeah, I also think they fall asleep in the open, even if they've got a house. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sold on the twenty-four hour thing just yet. I don't know. Know if we should push the beavers that hard i mean it's hard mode why not it's a hard life it's a hard life so a good establishment going there okay okay what do you think of one 24 hour days i think we should stick with that and give it a try i've never done it so i'm kind of tempted to give it a try uh we just need to remember to make sure we've got some unemployed beavers at some point so that they will come and uh, deal with the breeding pods which uh, is easy enough to do you can just pour some buildings um pause some buildings let them come out do their things till we get some haulers and then haulers can do it um yeah and also what do you think of the overall plan of i want to flatten the entire area and then build an aqueduct system that runs from here across to here this one will run from here across to here and then we'll have things dropping out of it which will drop water down from the heavens water will pour down into little reservoirs on the floor to make the land green what do you think it's a crazy plan it's a long way in the future. It might never work. But we will see. We will see. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I am excited for update six and to see what comes along and what happiness and wonderful funds we can have with it. And I uh, hope to see you again in the next episode. I hope you're excited too. Let me know what you think of things. And until then, as always, have fun.